So yeah. Um, presentation or pitch. Uh, the presentation we're going to be doing ours, uh, or the subject we're going to do our presentation on is the internet. Uh, there are many, many reasons to this, and one of them is just sort of how wide a subject it is. You could, honestly, you could go on for hours, possibly even a day or so straight, just talking about a small portion of what the internet is. Uh, there are so many um, other things as well. It's just out of the ideas we came up with, it's just the one that it was the one that we could get the most information out of. Yeah. Again. Uh, other uh, other reasons we had chosen this topic is well, it's information, it's learning, it's educational values. Um, the internet's already used by many people for sites like uh, Maths is Fun, where there are games you use your math skills that you've learned in order to complete. You can do sums, you can just learn a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, it's connecting people together. It's, it's, it's social relationships. Um, please stop talking. Uh, if anyone's seen the Kevin Bacon adverts, that's a very great uh, example of what it is. It's everything's being linked together by one invisible web. Um, another thing is trying to relate a majority. <laughs> Sorry about that. Trying to relate um, a majority of our target audience. Please bear with us. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, another thing about the internet, it's it's escapism. People use the internet to escape what life is. Because, um, I don't know, you just be sitting there, you're bored. You have an internet connection, you've got an entire different world at your disposal. Um, the history of the internet started in the 1950s when they um, developed electronic computers. Um, um, it, they um, introduced it in the, to the public in 1995, so more people started um, using the internet and connecting with each other. Um, since the 90s, the internet has um, expanded and revolutionized, so many more people use the internet. So, for example, people use email, people can email each other, people can instant message each other, like through MSN or Facebook or any social networking site, um, Skype, like video calls, so like FaceTime on Apple products and Skype. Um, also, people use blogs, um, social networking sites, video sharing sites on the internet. So the internet has now become widely used for many different things. Um, this is um, data of um, internet usage in different um, continents across the world. Research we found um, are to do with these sites that we have here. Um, does anyone here know about any of these sites? Can you 
can you name the sites? Uh, Amazon. <laughs> which one is Amazon? Which one is Twitter? Vimeo. Vimeo. Twitter. Twitter. Second to the middle. Twitter. And, and Tumblr at the end. Vivo, Twitter, Amazon, Flickr, and Tumblr. Uh, Vimeo. So five well-known sites that most of you know. So basically, in order for this um, this documentary to comply with Ofcom regulations, they like it's got to like show no violence. It's got to be balanced, not biased, and. These are some examples of the um, regulations that it will have to follow. So if you're under 18, you've got to like, um, for viewers under 18, it's got to have no violence and, yeah. Um, so this is... Uh, these are a few pieces of archive footage we have been able to get. You have to click in the bottom left. Yeah, Ranging in size from small units for divisional level to large scale systems for army and theater level, all capable of interchanging data rapidly and efficiently. First comes Moby Dick, which has already proved itself in stock control, an important element in logistics. Next comes the smaller basic pack. It can process and store information for such functions as fire support, meteorology, and personnel administration. Another compact general purpose data processor is designed for reducing staff work and speeding combat intelligence to commanders. Indeed, the day is not far distant. Now, this is just a short clip of one of our pieces of archive footage. Um, it's an old um, piece of footage showing some of the earlier models of computers. Now, as you can see, some of them were pretty big. And that would do one computer. Nowadays, we have a machine that big. That would be running servers for hundreds of thousands of sites with millions upon millions of viewers per day. Uh, I'm not going to show the other two videos due to time, but I will touch on one. Uh, this is a video about a game called Minecraft. It's one of the many things that shows just how powerful a computer is. The entire video is a player who has spent his time uh, to make an in-game computer. So essentially a computer within a computer that plays plays a very, very basic version of the game he's playing. Essentially, he's playing on a computer, playing the game Minecraft, while playing on a computer, playing the game Minecraft. Uh, we would also have some interviews up, but due to some technical difficulties, we weren't able to get them working, unfortunately. Uh, there are also a few minor faults within them, uh, giggling pauses, but things like that can't always be helped. Um, this is for our target audience, but we did a SWOT analysis for what we're going to put in our documentary. Like one of the strengths are that the for in, for the internet, it's easy to access for people, and people can like watch viral videos via video sharing websites like YouTube. Um, some of, one of the weaknesses are that um, people kind of see like there's some piracy and stuff which are like there's piracy and um, one of the opportunities are that um, there are many um, different points of views on the internet so some people might not use the internet um, like old people but some people might do for different things. So we're gonna like I said before, we're gonna cover a wide like wide range of um the internet.
internet and how people use it. And some threats are that, um, um, like for our um, documentary, is finding people to interview. Because, um, for example, finding people who like made the internet or work with um, computers. So that might be hard to, it may be hard to find some people for that. But, um, but we can also interview younger people, who, people, most people like in our target audience because it's aimed at everyone. So we might be able to interview some people because it would be easier. So. Um, Uh, so this is our, the, or uh, is this called the car gel uh, chart, talking about class, age, race, gender, education, lifestyle. The beautiful thing about the internet is because it's such a wide open topic and it's just incorporated in everyone's lives, there are very, very few restrictions, uh, possibly with the, um, uh, apart from age really as some of the older generation who grew up without the internet uh, would not know much about it but as you get into the younger generations um, about 13 years old up to I'd say a good 35 40 uh, they're gonna know even if it's only a little bit they are gonna know something about the internet it doesn't have anything to do with gender it doesn't have anything to do with um, race um, it's just such an open topic, which makes it all that much more fascinating because of how open something like that is. Um, we would have also had up here our yen chart and our prices. Unfortunately, due to technical difficulties, again, they were not able to work. Oh, and that is the end of our presentation. If there are any questions. How do you know this will be a successful documentary without any audience previews? Uh, the reason it's a successful documentary is just the amount of people who use the internet. Um, it's just substantial. It's brilliant. There's about 7 billion people on Earth. I'd say a good 50% have even the slightest bit of internet connection and use the internet at, I'd say, roughly a daily basis. And that's only talking about more of the older generation. When it comes to the uh, younger generations, like our students, we use it every day. We incorporate it into our lives through our phones, through our videos and everything. Anyone else? Um. Yeah, I'm not sure about the focus still, because you, you're talking about maybe not interviewing older people because they don't use the internet enough, and therefore focusing on young people, but do many young people know about the origins of the internet? If you ask them about the origins, where did it come from? Most young people will go, um, I don't know. Uh, it's true that more of the younger generation don't know, but that is why we have or we was going to interview some of the older generation, um, which is why we've got such that range of about 30 years old to a good 40 years old, okay. that higher portion. Who in the older generation? Uh, it can be uh, people such as bankers, teachers, uh, okay. people who use it as What's technicians. Uh, if they don't know, uh, then the best place to look would be people who specifically look uh, work uh, within the IT industries, uh, whether that be games designing, uh, videos, uh, which is like animations. Um, that all depends on if we are able to uh, get any reply. Hopefully, if uh, we are able to find someone who will be willing to do these interviews. We can get a great majority of information. Um, what question are you asking for? Uh, well, the base. Did I see them or did I miss 
Uh, no, those like some of the other parts, technical difficulties, we were not able to put them up. Because two of the interviews we took were very hard to edit because there was loads of pauses, loads of giggling. Yeah, I don't think that's a problem. Um, mm -hmm. You can edit that out. Or uh, another thing and was it's, it's not only Final Cut Pro was acting up. The point about doing the interviews is that you then got for them to say this worked and this didn't, and maybe we need to change our topic. Well, uh, we know how the interviews went ourselves. We can yeah. uh, talk about that. However, we're not able. But the pitch I wish we would have been able to put the interviews up. The um, main problems with our interviews were some of the questions were a bit too close. Uh, some of them, yeah. they kind of ranged from a different uh, skill levels. So they had very basic ones, such as, do you use the internet on a daily basis? Uh, how many hours a day do you spend on it? And instead of like easing them into bigger questions gently, we kind of uh, had this massive gap where we could have asked easier questions, yeah. but went straight into things okay. like, do you know of the origin of the internet? Okay. Do you know? That's what I wanted. Yeah. That's the point. That's why you should show the interviews. Yep. Uh, with secondary research, um, did you research about like, popular websites and like, frequently viewed and stuff like that? Yeah, that was like the Tumblr, the um, Twitter, that, them ones. Uh, yeah. There are loads of websites like Google and all that, which you didn't incorporate, but there uh, are other, there um, other websites that you added that we didn't know, like Flickr and stuff like that. Uh, that's because, uh, to go with Google, I it's, it's a brilliant website, yes. But to go with something so well known, so well used, would be nothing short of predictable, to be honest. Um, many things that do incorporate computers or the internet into their documentaries do tend to talk about these well known websites, and they have been done to death. The, uh, some of the websites we're trying to get into is some of the well known ones, but not as commercially well known because they're the ones with most of the, uh, more of the information. Because you go onto Google on a daily basis and you use it to get you to these other sites. You don't use it on its own. going to be mainly on how it's used. The origin of it is um, a part of it because to know where it came from, uh, to know how it changed to what it's become now is... Um, okay. it's, uh, so in a sense you want to look at how it's developed and how that has, how yeah. we've evolved the way that we use it based on that. Yeah. So the origin for it's be an introduction for you to then move yeah. into how we now use it and how important it is and how everywhere it is, if you like. Okay. Any other questions?